Hundreds gathering in Perry, Iowa at a candlelight prayer vigil after a deadly shooting at Perry High School Thursday. 14-year-old freshman Angie Orellana ran for her life when the gunman opened fire in the cafeteria. If school isn't safe, where are we supposed to go besides our homes? Like, where are we supposed to, like, get a good education? Shots ringing out just after 7.30 a.m. on the first day back from winter break. We're going to need multiple ambulances. Multiple books and bound. Classes hadn't started for the day, but some students and faculty were already at school. We heard four gunshots and we all jumped and just like we all looked at each other, didn't know what to do. The suspect, 17 year old student Dylan Butler, seen here, posted this TikTok from what looks like a school bathroom with a blue duffel bag next to him and the words, Now we wait. Ninth grader Anthony Ubaldo says he was inside that same bathroom. I heard someone moving around. And I looked through the little crack in the stall. He looked at me through the crack. He opened his duffel bag and hooked it up. My body just told me, like, you're not supposed to be here. Leave. It's just traumatizing because, honestly, he could have just killed me then and there, and I wouldn't be here right now. Moments later, authorities say the suspect shot and killed a sixth grader who was at the school for a breakfast program, then shot four more students and the principal, Dan Marburger, before taking his own life. Jody Kurth says her stepson was hit in the back and the arm and rushed to the school after getting a text from her daughter. It was absolutely horrifying. Like this. One of the worst moments of my entire life, but the best phone call I got was saying that they were okay. Officials tell us the five other victims are recovering in the hospital, one in critical condition, the others are stable. Police now looking into a number of social media posts the suspect made around the time of the shooting to try and pin down a motive. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.